One of the great things about my job is I get to drive new cars, but one of the better things about my job is I get to drive classic cars like this classic Aston Martin Lagonda. One of the most classic, iconic cars ever produced by Aston Martin. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. Under this massive, well, the dashboard says bonnet, is a massive 5.3 liter V8 that puts out 280 horsepower, made it to a three-speed automatic. These cars were hand-built, and this particular engine was built by Frank Matthews in England, of course. A 1982 Road & Track review described the Lagonda as Ferrari performance and Rolls-Royce luxury at a price you can't afford. Indeed, at $150,000, the Lagonda costs more than a Ferrari and a Rolls-Royce. That's probably why many of them ended up in the Middle East. Whether you think it's beautiful or ugly, one thing is a fact. It is exceptionally rare. They built just under 650 Lagondas in total of four series. This is a Series 2 1984 car. One thing for sure, you will never see this car coming and going when you're driving down the road. You will be the only one in it if you're lucky enough to own it. This particular Lagonda is owned by a Japanese international business executive. As the story goes, the Lagonda helped save the company because customers had to put down a $10,000 deposit just to get on the waiting list to own the car. By far the most unique thing about this car is this digital dashboard. It cost four times the entire budget of the car to develop this dashboard and uh, it was the first computerized digital dashboard to use a cathode ray installed in a car and it was probably one of the biggest mistakes they could have made because while it is exceptionally cool by 1984 standards it is exceptionally problematic today oh it starts up right away not bad for a car that's almost 30 years old listen to this that's the sound of the headlights popping up. How cool is that? Back in 1984, there was no other car in the world that would do that. This Lagonda is the direct predecessor to the current Aston Martin Rapide. Back in its day, it competed with cars like the Bentley, the Rolls-Royce, and even the Ferrari 400. This was one of the early supercars you could buy that's at four. So at this point you must be wondering, how does it drive? Well, it drives like a 30 year old car. If I floor it, not much happens. It's got a three speed automatic. The brakes are kind of mushy, but you know what? You can feel what the wheels are doing. You have a sense of occasion because you're sitting so low. Economy, who cares? It's a 30 year old car. If I'm getting 8 miles to the gallon or 80 miles to the gallon, I am driving an iconic classic. It doesn't get any better than this. Really, it doesn't. And you know what? The air conditioner even works, which is way cool for a car that has Lucas Electronics with what has to be the most complicated dashboard ever designed by man in 1984. This thought just crossed my mind. This is probably, no, definitely the first and last time I will ever drive an Aston Martin Lagonda. How cool is that? Originally these Lagondas were tested 0 to 60 in about 6.2 seconds. Well I can promise you this car is nowhere near that. We're up at altitude and this car has had a lot of years under the bonnet and that's floored so I would say the three-speed automatic you're probably looking more like 10 seconds and that's just the seat of my pants. But you have to keep in mind that back in the day when I was growing up, a lot of kids had Lamborghini Countach posters on their wall, but there were kids with posters of this car on the wall, and I can't believe I got to drive it today. And you know what? It's as good as I thought it would be. As always, this is Roman Micah, as giddy as a young schoolboy, driving an Aston Martin Lagonda for the Fastlane car. See you next time.